Hello, and welcome to Nest of Guidance. I have a little bit more of a different video planned for today, which is a general weekly flow reading from Monday the 20th of June to the 26th of June, which is the following Sunday. And I've been doing these readings for myself and they've been pretty accurate, and so I thought I would try sharing one with the collective conscious, the general masses, to see if the vibes translate to everyone else as well. And I'm just gonna jump right into it. There's no no title cards, no click here for this pile, it's just me shuffling and throwing some cards down. So let's have some fun together. I like to start these readings by, by going into self-care right away because if we know how to care for ourselves or what's the best type of self-care for us for the week or the energies that flow ahead, then we can sometimes manage them better, whatever they end up being. So when I do this for myself and for um, my own clients, I'll shuffle with my eyes closed. You might see my eyelids fluttering. They tend to flutter when I'm concentrating with my eyes closed, but I'm just going to close my eyes and shuffle this to think about the best self-care for this week ahead from Monday the 20th until... Sunday the 26th of June. Here we go! And then I just take the first card on top, which we have <laughs> the card of Good Girl. No more. This is the self-care card of power. Own your own power. On the back of the card it says, The ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is. Own your power. So with this I feel like this week coming up that we're about to enter into is not the time to people please. You are the master of your reality. I am the master of my reality. You get to choose what you say yes to and what you say no to and what you allow into your field and what you can put up boundaries for. And boundaries are healthy in a lot of situations. So just know that you are in your full right to control your power, be in charge of your power, and let it flow wherever you want it to and let it stay within and remain close to you when you need to. So that is a very helpful card to start with for this week ahead. All right, and from there, I like to go into this other deck to see what surrounding energies might be happening for us today. So let me just shuffle this. I don't need to shuffle with my eyes closed because it's not double-sided. Okay, that's our card. It's hanging out on the floor right now. Okay, woo, stand still. So this card, when I see this card, I think of I, I, it makes me think of birds in the wild like it is on this card. I think of how how when a heron or this like spoonbill in this bird in this card is like hunting for its food, for its nourishment, for what will feed its body, mind, and soul. Quite literally, it has to be very still. Sudden movements will scare everything away and then we'll have to either wait to eat or we'll have to have to go somewhere else to find nourishment elsewhere. But when you take the time to just be still in your energy, be still with your surroundings, and just move each step with intention and awareness, like a heron or a spoonbill wading through waters to catch fish, then bam, in a second you can catch the fish. But if you scramble on your old doll of scattered all over the place and you try to act, you might fumble, an opportunity might be missed. So know that you, you have all this power residing within you and this is not the time to people please. 
And this is also not the time to rush into anything this week. This is a week for slow, steady, intentional movements and actions. And when I know those two, I like to just pull four, four cards from this uh, tarot deck, the one I use mostly, to see what the general flow through the days might be and what might come up for us or for myself, for you, during that time. think this is kind of fun because we just hang out pull some cards for everyone all together you can kind of see how I pull cards now as well I I don't really know how to describe it apart from that I'm seeing it in 5d which I know sounds so woohoo but it's really like the card that I choose like stands out to me on a different dimension than all the other ones is all the only way I can describe my process so bear with me here there we go there's our last card Okay. Alright, I have this aligned so that it is viewable for you watching the video. And we start with, ooh, the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is a talk, is a card that talks about balancing our priorities, balancing our physical responsibilities. You can see she's got one, one purse up in the air, one connected to what looks like an energetic orb or another thing going on behind her, and then she's kind of spinning in circles, trying to maintain the balance of these two things. And when we're needing to manage our priorities, balance our responsibilities in this physical world because pentacles is everything physical and tangible. It can kind of make us feel like we're spinning in circles. But the, the visual I always see when I see this card is, first of all, you know when you watch like a, like a professional uh, ballerina or dancer and as they're spinning, their head's not spinning with their body? That stops the dizziness from happening. The way they, just like, you can even Google like professional dancer and just watch as they spin as they're dancing and watch their their as their head moves it. Their head almost moves before or after. I can't really discern myself, not a dancer. Um, doesn't move in time and with their body as their body moves. It moves at a different time and that stops them from getting disoriented and feeling dizzy. And she's also got her eyes closed in this card. So if balancing your physical responsibilities, tasks, is making you feel kind of disoriented and dizzy, then going within where the waters are always still in your heart can help you feel at peace as you're balancing those energies this coming week. And also, if she's, I'm just, I saw the standstill card, and she's standing quite still as she is balancing these energies so that definitely ties into the standstill card of no fast moving and they almost look like they could be like of the same family like her orange dress reminds me of the the orange feathers plumage on that bird okay card number two ooh the eight of pentacles The 
The Eight of Pentacles is a card that talks about mastering your skills, um, education, furthering your knowledge. So you can see this character in this card, she's deep in studies of many things she's interested in. So she's studying the lunar cycle. She has candles and her herbs all around her, books and quills all around her. So this might be a good week if you've been thinking about developing a skill more or furthering your education, diving into a passion and really honing it. The energies are good for that this week with this card and this flow. You might need to prioritize what you want to do with that time and energy you have first, but once you can kind of balance that out and figure out what energies you want to hone and master, then it looks like that will be a good time to take that step this week coming up. All right. Next on the line, we have, ooh, the Ace of Wands. Excellent. And the Ace of Wands is a card that talks about new beginnings. So this is new passions, new ambitions, new jobs, new careers, new daily routines, new tasks, new responsibilities. So, and as you can see, like the fire of inspiration is coming from her own mind in this card. So what this means is that it's all in your own temple already. So if you can envision it with the flame in her third eye, if you can envision this new beginning of your passions, new beginning of your ambitions, new beginning for a career, new beginning for a, for a, a, a like a, a project that you're working on, then it is possible because that's what this card means is that this is a card of new beginnings, brilliant ideas, manifestations coming to life, new passions, new ambitions, new inspiration. So it, it, I feel like that's the flow of this so far. It's like, make up your mind, balance your priorities with the Two of Pentacles, really dive into what's important to you with your education, with your skills, your hobbies, your passions, your ambitions, what you really want to hone and master and get a hold of for that type of um, energy and then once you you've really dove in with that education and really gotten your hands into it to know it more know it fully then you'll have this clear idea with that flame in her mind to take you to the next step through this energy these energies this week and then the last card to finish out this weekly reading, which is the card of the moon. Ooh. And the moon talks about our intuition, the deeper things in life, our deep emotions, psychic abilities. It's also a little bit of things might feel a little unknown. This is a card that takes place the darkest time of night before the sun rises. So in the dark, when things feel unknown, it is also best to not rush ahead of things and not give in too much because you don't know what lies ahead yet. So take it slow, go within, trust your own inner guidance, trust your intuition, trust your instincts to guide you onward through these energies and through to the next week. She's also, even though she's deep within the water, she's not panicked about it. And she knows she's still connected to her intuition. You can see this line of energy from her hand going up towards the full moon. And the moon is full, which means something might also be coming to an end, a completion, or a manifestation of yours might be coming into fruition, coming into your physical reality, which is also amazing and also lends to the Ace of Wands, which is all about new beginnings for passions, ambitions. Excellent. Cool, cool, cool. Can I find anything else that I want to bring up into this reading? I don't know why this stood out to me and I don't know what it means yet. Um, <laughs> but I'm just gonna say it because it's literally like what came to mind when I looked at this card again. If this means anything for any of you, please let me know because 
it's just a message that came up that I feel like I need to share and it might resonate with one of you, but those yellow things in her hair kind of look like bumblebees to me. Um, they're such precious little creatures and they're so helpful to the environment and the world. And I guess the only thing I have to say about that before I end this quick little video for this week ahead reading from June 20th to June 26th is know that you are precious, know that you are helping the world with what you are doing, with who you are being, the connections you are making, and that you have the power within you to make all your dreams come true, to explore and expand what you want to explore, to balance what you need to balance, and to get yourself through those dark, mysterious times when you're not sure what lies in front of you. And when you can stand still within your own power, within your own energy, then you'll be set for anything this world throws at you. That is my little quick energy update for this coming week from Monday, June 20th to Sunday, June 26th. I hope you liked this video, this new style. Please let me know in the comments how it resonated with you. I'd love to hear your feedback. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a blessed day. Namaste.